we're celebrating the centenary of Fazl Mosque London. It's the first mosque of London, but some people do take issue with that, and I think we need to really clear up some issues here. 1924, 100 years later, that's why we're here today. I think the Ahmadi Muslim community was the first Muslim community preaching into the Western world, and I want to give you some facts to prove it. Let's look at East London Mosque, which is celebrated in a tremendous way. And for sure, it's a great milestone. However, I think there's a few things you need to know. The London Mosque Fund was established in 1910. Yet it took how long for a mosque to actually be established in the East End of London? When it was established, when you look at the minutes, there's infighting, protests, financial disagreement. At one point, the Muslims of the East End even say, we're going to give back control of the mosque to non-Muslims. Why am I talking about all of this? 100 years later, after Jodhir Fateh Siyal, Raziyallah Anho, who was the first Islamic missionary to the Western world, acquired this land in 1920, this mission has continued and hasn't died since. So I think there are some questions that need to be answered to who is the first organization and what is the first mosque of London. We can just take the Shah Jahan Mosque in Woking as an example. From its inception, Muslims failed to handle the mosque in a serious manner. To be honest, it was to do with Gottlieb Leitner, who only let Muslims into that mosque with permission. But after that, the agency of that mosque was governed by non-Muslims. It started with Leitner, then his son, Henry Leitner. The London Mosque Fund was unable to get anything going with it until the Ahmadi Muslim community came into the picture and reactivated the mosque. What about Quilliam of Liverpool? He wrote to Mirza Ghulam Ahmed of Qadian in very glowing terms. But what happened to him? In his own lifetime, his mission folded. So there goes Liverpool, there goes Woking. What about Webb in New York? Same thing, mission folded in his own lifetime. Thinking back on all of that, 100 years later, I'm looking at the first mosque of London. It's quite something, to be honest with you.